Hey guys, this is Tyrell and I wanted to share uh, some quick tips with you today about how to grow your business as a network marketer. And what I want to share with you is the difference between selling and sorting. As professional network marketers, we don't we don't sell, we sort. Um, it's our job to figure out, um, it's our job to get an opportunity out to as many people as possible. Um, and the best way, the most efficient way of doing that is to sort. When we have a prospect or a lead, we need to figure out if, what, if our product or if our opportunity would be right for them. Um, and there are ways of doing that. I'm not going to go into that because it's a whole other video, but I want to share with you the importance of knowing the difference between sorting and selling. When you uh, meet a lead or you, meet a, or you have a prospect, the only thing that you're supposed to do, responsible for doing in the beginning, is showing them the opportunity. Um, so sort to figure out whether or not what it is you're selling, whether your opportunity or your product will fit them. And if it does, then you show them the opportunity using the company brand and materials like brochures or um, or guided videos. That's it. That's all we do. Professional network marketers, we sort and we market. That's it. We just get our opportunity or whatever it is that we're selling and promoting out to as many people as possible and let the branded information actually sell the person. Um, ever ever been in a company where someone seems to come out of nowhere and all of a sudden they're putting in 20 or 30 leads or business partners into the system you know a month every few weeks they're salesmen <laughs> okay but what happens is unfortunately is after about a month or so after some time actually those people end up doing nothing or they end up falling out and that's because they're not, you can't duplicate people <clears throat> You can kind of, you can re you can replicate or duplicate a system, but you can't do that to people. So that's why network marketers, uh, professional network marketers, we we market and we sort. How do you know if you're selling? Um, if you tell them anything about the price of your product or company, you're selling. If you uh, tell them anything about the background of the company, if you try to give them any details, explanation of about what the company is. You're selling. <laughs> Be sure of that. Um, if you tell them anything about the price, if you get into trying to uh, explain the, comp the compensation plan, you're selling. Um, excuse me. So it needs you to stay away from that. All you have to do is talk to them, see if it fits them, send them to the web page. Um, primarily a web page that is not the that does not belong to the primary company, whether it's your own web page or whether it's a third party web page that gives more detailed information is usually better. Send them to that and then follow up with them. That's by sorting and marketing. That's what I mean by sorting and marketing. <clears throat> so after you do that, then you can begin to sell. But you're still not selling your product, you're still not selling a company, you're selling yourself because people buy into you. The people buy into the fact that they can follow you as a leader. They need to know that you can help them solve a need they have, that you can either provide uh, ease of pain that they're having um, or provide pleasure, which means give them something that they want, something that they like. Um, if they believe that you can help them reach their goals, then they're more likely to follow you or buy into you, therefore buy into the company because they believe through you uh, this company can help them reach their goals. So that's absolutely <clears throat> excuse me. That's absolutely what you want to do. That's what you should be doing. Um, don't, like I said, don't get into the trap of trying to explain exactly what the company is about, the company's history. No. Let all the brand and company material do that for you. If you stick with that plan, I guarantee you'll get better results. Um, so practice, focus on sorting, uh, and then marketing the information, getting the information. Now, once they see the opportunity, you follow up with them. Then, like I said, you're selling yourself. If you're actually giving the presentation where it covers all of that stuff, people, again, are not really buying into the company. They're buying into you. So it's more important to focus on yourself and building yourself and branding yourself as a leader than actually, you know, going the other route of actually trying to physically sell. Now, if you're in the company or if you're in the industry of selling, then absolutely, go ahead. That's what you're into. But if you're in, a net, if you're in the network marketing industry and you're serious about growing your business, then learn to sort 
and market. Uh, with that, that's been Tyrell Echoes. I hope this information has been beneficial to you, and I hope that you can take it and apply it and get some immediate results out of it. Uh, if you're watching this anywhere on the Internet, absolutely go back to my website, TyrellEchoes.com, where you can find more information like this. Um, and also, no matter where you are, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, whether you like it or you don't like it. Either way, it absolutely helps me. So with that, this has been Tyrell Echoes. God bless. Hey guys, there is one more thing that I forgot to mention when you're dealing with set, selling and sorting. Um, the end all be all is to get an answer yes or no to your opportunity <clears throat> to your product. So the reason we sort is because we know we have to go through the numbers. So the faster you sort, the faster you go through your numbers. <clears throat> and the faster way of sorting people is to put them in a yes and a no category just in general. Um, if they're open to it, yes, and you move further with your process. Um, if no, then you don't throw them away. You actually <clears throat> put them on your list to follow up. 30 days, 60 days, or whatever your schedule is. But absolutely, the end all be all is to get a yes or a no. So when selling and sort them, sorting, Sort them, show them the opportunity, get a yes or no if they're interested. If yes, continue on. If no, follow up with them later.